All right, so about a month ago, I released this quick short that said, don't deploy your apps with Vercel. Here's why. We're in the short, it's just 57 seconds. I talk about Coolify, a really cool product that allows you to deploy your applications extremely easy. And it's an incredible service. It's incredible applications for self-hosted things. In this video, I'm gonna go into deeper detail of Coolify, how you can set it up, from scratch with no server and what I do to deploy my applications. All right, so you can see here, I use Hetzner Cloud for all of my self-hosted projects and where I personally like to purchase my Linux instances. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a server. I'm gonna add one, it's gonna be probably Ubuntu based, all that pretty basic stuff here. All right, so I went ahead and created my instance. You can see here, two vCPU, two gigabyte RAM, 40 gigabyte disk local. Uh, it's the cheapest one, it's about 385 euros a month. IP address, everything here, don't worry, this will be deleted. So let's go ahead and SSH into this, and then I'm gonna show you the power of Coolify. Now, Coolify has two versions of documents. There's the up-to-date version for Coolify and documentation, and then there is on old.coolify.io, the version three documentation. And I personally use version three. I know the creator Andres is going to be mad at me because he's been trying to get me to go to version four, but I truly love version three. It's what I learned, but please go ahead and use it. But for this video, we'll be using the command to get us started with V3. All right, so you can see here on my screen, I've SSH'd into this server that I just got and Hetzner, pretty easy. Uh, you can just set up your SSH keys or they can actually email you a password. But if you flip back to Coolify V3, all you need to do is install on your server in a minute. All you have to do is copy this wget command. We'll go back to our server here, paste it. I'm gonna say, yes to all of these prompts it's going to install docker it's going to install a bunch of other stuff for us to get us set up for using coolify on our instance here and there you go congratulations your coolify instance is ready to use please visit this url to get started it'll take a few minutes to start up don't worry now this is very key because this is actually some of the power that the Coolify dashboard has. So typically on a Linux instance, you would just, you know, SSH and do your thing here and set up, you know, Nginx and all that. But here, if you actually go back and open up a new tab and paste that, you can see here on the first time you log in, you actually get this screen to register your account. Coolify made self hosting simple. So go ahead and register your account, melkydev at gmail.com. I'll go ahead and register. And there you go. And this is the power of Coolify. This is where the video and the power of Coolify really starts to show. But I want to show you how you can kind of set this up from scratch, from the ground up. Okay, so the previous Coolify screen I just have you is for this particular instance. So for the sake of this video, I actually wanna show you one of my production level Coolify accounts. It's gonna be different than the Coolify account you have here, but this is gonna be one that I actually have applications that run just to showcase some of the power Coolify offers you. So you can see here, I have my applications. I have one called Resu AI and Astro Station me. Go ahead and check them out with a few added services, Git services, and some destinations, some databases as well. So. What Coolify allows you to do is basically deploy your applications and each application will have its own separate DNS. So what does that mean? So this is one Hetzner Ubuntu instance that I have, but it has two separate applications running. So open up a tab and I go to resuai.io. You can see here, you can interact with the web application, no problem. And if you open up another one and go to astrostation.me, there's another application that's running from the same instance, but Coolify gives you the ability to run different applications on two separate or multiple different DNSs. So how do you create one of these applications, right? Well, Coolify offers so many different services. You can have different services, which I'll go into a little bit later, database, a Git source, an application. And the Git source is incredibly important because that's how you hook up CI, CD. So if you go to astrostation.me, you can see here, my Git repository is Melky dev astrostation.main, and the main is the branch, which basically means every time there's a push onto the main branch, it's automatically going to build my Astro Station into production. You can see here, these are all automatic webhook commits that happen in uh, from GitHub. If there's a PR that goes into main and this, it's all good, it pushes it directly to astrostation.me via the CI/CD pipeline that's offered in Coolify. 
So if we go back and if you want to develop one of these applications, all you need to do is click create a new resource, go to application. You can connect your app with GitHub, load the repository and deploy a Docker file. You don't have to go with Docker. As you can see, AzureStation.me, this is just a node application. So for this one in particular, you can showcase what it is you're going to use. So node long-term support. And you can see that you can specify the install command, the build command and the start command as well. And if you have a different public directory, for you can you know have your assets you can state that here but the way i like to use coolify is very much so with docker images docker containers you can see here resi ai i have a port port 3000 and that basically spins up a single docker file for resi ai and i actually have different applications on different coolify instances that are basically docker compose or docker swarms that you can configure coolify to connect all the different Docker images you can have and make them work pretty much seamlessly together. So you can see here there's secrets for your application. These are production level secrets. There is features persisting the volume. You can go into the application. You can see the logs of your app and what's happening from you know your back end or what's happening with your application while users are going to it. You get build logs. You can select a build to see the logs. You can click here and see all the different build logs that you create. You can monitor your application so you can see here how much used memory you have, how much you have available, any amount of this used CPU. So these are really cool things that Coolify gives you to deploy your applications. It's seamless. You get CI CD. It's beautiful. You get this nice dashboard, but that's really not everything Coolify gives you. Because if you go back to create a new resource, that was only our own applications. But there's two more kind of components there that we haven't explored. And I really want to talk about this service tab here. If you click into service, you get out of the box availability to all these kinds of applications that give you and your, you know, your service, your app, more ways to process or help you deploy. For example, this plausible for plausible analytics, which gives you really good insights into how your applications are doing. And like here, you can see Azure station, not me, 367 visitors in the last 24 hours, Resi AI gets 45. We can click this and plausible gives us all the kind of breakdown of our application. Where do people come from? The sources, where are the clicking exit, all of this stuff. And there's a bunch of others that I haven't even explored, like Keyclo, Grafana, Ghost, AppRight. There's just so many things and it's just one click. You just have to click plausible analytics and it's gonna spin up what you need. And it's gonna give you a separate URL. So if you want to go to a different URL for your analytics, you can go ahead and do that. You can see here, mine is just test.lpli.io. IO and it just gives me access to look at all these kind of dashboards that I have available to me. And if you go back, you can see here you have one created. You can just go ahead and delete it, right? And it's not used. You can see you're all not configured. Just go ahead and delete it. It's gone. And then if you go back to create a new resource, you can go to database and you can create a database using MongoDB, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, Redis, CouchDB, or EdgeDB. Again, one click, you can pick your version and then boom, it's it's available. You get the default database, the Postgres user password, a regular user and the actual password for that. And it gives you the connection string as well. You can set it publicly, you can do whatever you want. Go back to your dashboard and you can see the additional database. And this is all free. That's the key. Coolify itself is free. The only thing I'm paying is the cost for my Hetzner service here. The Linux instance that I purchased from Hetzner or DigitalOcean, whatever cloud provider you want, that's the only thing I'm paying for. Everything I showed you is free out of box. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys go on to Coolify's GitHub. It's open source. Make sure to give it a like, give it a star and support the creator. It's only Andres. It's one individual. Give it a sponsorship. And you can see there's just so many different things that this gives you. You can refresh the status of your databases. Again, the CICD, you can even have IM role. So you can invite people to help you work on your Coolify you know, application via that same registered portal we saw when we first spun this up uh, and you can give them different permissions to different applications. And it's just such an incredible tool to just have different DNSs for different applications I'm rolling out. You can set the ports, you can do whatever you want. This plays pretty nice with other frameworks. This plays really well with Go, just any kind of programming language, anything you want to apply from React to whatever, this is my go-to when I deploy my applications and especially the only thing I have to pay is like three euros a month, which comes up to roughly, let's say five bucks a month. I mean, yeah, I'll take that. No problem to have potentially a bunch of applications running. Yeah. Sign me up.
So hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, the docs and GitHub repo for Coolify will be in the description. Make sure you click it. But if you like this kind of video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more content. I greatly appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all next time. Boom.